What's going on guys, it's Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and in this video we're going to talk about the latest installment of the Panasonic Lumix Tether app which allows you to connect cameras like this G9 here to your computer. I've been using the Lumix Tether app for quite a while now to connect this G9 to Capture One, but recently I was having a lot of connection issues, so I thought I'd do some digging and see what the problem was. I don't know about you, but I avoid software updates like they're the plague, but sometimes that's the solution, and that's actually the case for this. So I was running version 1.2, and they were all the way up to version 1.5 at the time, now 1.6. Uh, so I made the jump, now I'm on 1.6 and I have no connection issues whatsoever. So sometimes if you're having any issues like that, take a look, see what version of the software you're using and that might solve your problem. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is to update the firmware on your computer before you update the Lumix Tether app. Uh, because otherwise everything will go crazy and bad. So just make sure your firmware update uh, is up to date, you update the newest version of Lumix Tether, and that'll help uh, a ton. I know it did for me. So what it does, the reason for the new versions is it actually, they integrated the new S series cameras. So uh, now they have the S1, the S1R, and the S1H that are all able to be tethered. Um, so once you turn your camera on, open the Tether app, uh, you're going to be prompted to plug the camera in and then once you do that you can control literally everything on the camera from white balance to exposure to you know, shooting raw or JPEG, literally everything. Uh, one thing that I do that I find really helpful is actually using live view for uh, product or food photography. So what that does is it kind of speeds up the uh, process of setting everything up because you can just see what the camera is seeing on your computer and that helps staging a ton. Um, and then if you want to run into Capture One like I do, just make sure that your reference folder is the same as your capture folder for your capture session. Uh, and then that'll automatically dump all the photos right into Capture One uh, for easy editing or calling or sending them to your client later. So if you have any questions about tethering specifically into the Lumix Tether app or really any questions about anything at all, uh, shoot me a comment below, shoot me a message. Uh, I'd love to help you out. And until next time, I'll see you later.